Hey folks, welcome back to the Military Uniform Supply YouTube channel, and today we're going to take a look at Cold War era Polish Army Lanterns or flashlights or torches, whatever you want to call them. We have three different styles and we even picked up a battery so we can test a few of them out. So let's dig right in. So we have three different styles of the Polish Lantern that we're going to look at today. This first one has a rectangular window and these are going to vary depending on where they were manufactured or who the supplier was. And of course we have these sliders on the side that apply the red and green filter. Taking a look at the octagonal shaped window and again the same filters are, are on the side. Our third model that we have is based more off of the World War II German model, but still has the familiar levers on the side that apply our filters. And each of these are nearly identical when we open them up and look on the inside. Speaking of which, let's take a quick peek. There's not a lot to them and most of the area in here is going to be for battery space. Now opening this one here, there's a nice little surprise, and that was that there is an extra bulb that is in here. Very rarely will you find an extra bulb in one of these old flashlights. Now with most of the inside being a battery compartment, what size battery do these take? Well, taking a look at a few of the American size batteries, the AA and the 9V, they are way too small for this mechanism. And of course our D size battery doesn't fit either. So what battery does fit inside the Polish military surplus Soviet era lanterns? Well, this is a hard to find 4.5 volt 3LR12 battery. That's 3 Lima Romeo 12. As you can see here, we have the positive and negative on the top, and we're just going to slide it right into the lantern and it makes for an easy fit. The only thing left to do now is to close the flashlight and see if it works. And for this case in particular, we got very lucky. We have ourselves a working flashlight and we'll give a little test and our signal or Morse code button is also working well. We can apply our filters for the green or red. This is very helpful for seeing in the dark to reduce blinding ourselves and to retain our natural night vision. And of course, the first two models have the levers on the side as opposed to the more German looking model that has the levers on top. Now taking a look at the back of these flashlights, they do have a metal clip that can be used for hanging and of course our fastener that is off to the side that holds everything in place. Now let's take a quick pause and look at this detailed embossed logo here. Now this says CZM Damgas and doing a little bit of research I found that this is actually where these are made and this is an old factory in southern Poland and I won't even try to pronounce this city because I'm sure I'm not going to say it right. Right. Now taking a look at the flashlight with the octagon shaped window, it also has the clip in the back and is also manufactured in the same place in Poland. Now this one here is a little bit different as it has leather straps on the back and from what I've read and found out, I believe these can be fastened to your jacket or to a button on a coat or things of that nature. All in all, fantastic items and a great collector's item. So that is the Polish Armed Forces Military Torch or Flashlight. And they have a wide array of uses, whether it's just to be able to see in the dark, being able to signal something, or being able to reduce the effects on your natural night vision by using the green or red lenses. Very similar to what I used to use in the military with the old angle head. Now I do think that it's important that we realize that these are being sold as a novelty item, something to put on the wall or on a display as a conversation piece. But now some of them are still in working order. And if you want to spend the 12 to 15 to 20 dollars to buy one of these big 4.5 volts online, then it might be well worth your while to see if you can find a few that work. Now, if you'd like to pick up a few of these lanterns for yourself, either as a display slash novelty item, or if you want to try your hand and get a battery and see if you can find a few that work, I'm going to put a link in the description below. We have a few of these left on militaryuniformsupply.com, although they are selling fast. And that's possibly because we have the lowest prices that you're going to find on the internet. 
So that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below and let us know what you want to see in a future video. Thank you very much for watching and on to the next.